Hello, I'm Kimberly Pressler with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, April 20th. A Valencia man is set to serve one year in county jail for taping a cat's paws together. 23-year-old Tyler Scott Vest was also sentenced to three years formal probation and ordered to complete 24 hours of animal cruelty counseling. The defendant and his girlfriend, 27-year-old Kylie Stringer, both entered no contest pleas on January 13th. Stringer was sentenced to three years of informal probation and was ordered to complete a six-month drug treatment program, 15 days of Caltrans service, and 24 hours of animal cruelty counseling. Sheriff deputies approached the couple's parked car on Sand Canyon late in the evening. Heroin was found inside the vehicle along with other narcotics and a cat inside a pet carrier. All four paws of the cat had been duct taped and tied and bound together with more duct tape. The 23rd annual Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival will feature new and popular Wild West activities this weekend. Alongside four stages featuring several highly anticipated Cowboy Festival musical acts, the Hart Park event area will also host numerous Western attractions. Festival visitors can test their rodeo skills or unleash their inner cowboy. The festival officially kicks off with SCV TV Presents the Out West Concert Series. For more information about the 2016 Cowboy Festival, go to cowboyfestival.org. Coming up, SCV residents enjoy chili and fundraise for a good cause with the SCV Chili Cook-Off. Plus, the New Hall School District Auditorium is making progress. Stay tuned. Kids will spend 15 minutes watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Hey George, there's breaking news. AM 1220KHTS, I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. As it turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four, Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now, and our news crew is on the scene with more information. Welcome back, I'm Kimberly Pressler. Attendees to the fourth annual Chili Cook-Off dined, danced, and donated on Tuesday. Check it out. Thousands came out to the Chili Cook-Off, showing support for both good food and a good cause. All proceeds went to the Single Mothers Outreach and the SCV Food Pantry. It's just a, an event where the, the community comes out. It's not like a typical fundraiser that normally happens here every year, where it's just the same kind of business people. We have a mixture of just people, like community families coming in and just learning about the resources that we have in Santa Clarita. You know, like so many of our events that we have in Santa Clarita, there's things that become a tradition. This, is, this has become one of them just in a few short years. Uh, I was actually a contestant a few years ago, looking forward to doing it again sometime in the future. And I think it's because it brings people together. It's a beautiful evening, a great venue. You get to try all kinds of different, you know, American favorites. Who doesn't like chili? And as you can have with beans, without beans, beef, chicken, turkey, vegetarian. There's all kinds of options. But it actually is for a great cause, and that's to raise money for various charities with, throughout uh, Santa Clarita Valley, and that's what's important, is people getting together for good causes. Attendees were able to walk away with a smile after sampling different types of chilies from businesses, organizations, and residents. Um, actually, as soon as we found out about it, we're always, and I'm more very involved in the community, so we were excited to get out here and show our skills in the kitchen. Because we have two different kinds, one that's a little more mild and one that's spicy. Live music set the stage as patrons went from tent to tent, each tent holding their own spicy, sweet, or savory twist on this classic dish. For SCV TV, I'm Patricia Silva. Work is in full swing to renovate the Newhall School District's historic auditorium. Lundgren Management is serving as construction manager for the $4.8 million project. The school district broke ground on the project at Newhall Elementary School March 4th. Demolition and abatement work began the following week. 
The project is expected to wrap up by the end of the year, followed by a grand reopening celebration. Now turning to weather, Wednesday was warm and sunny at 82 degrees and is expected to drop to a low of 55. Thursday will remain warm with a high of 84 degrees, but expect wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Fog is expected to roll in Thursday evening. Friday will be partly sunny, but it'll clear up for the weekend. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Kimberly Pressler.